Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be discussing definitions and terminologies which are used in orthodontics. And we will start from occlusion of course as occlusion is the important part in orthodontics. And let's discuss about the ideal occlusion. The first one is ideal occlusion. We say normally that I have ideal occlusion that isn't true. Ideal occlusion is actually rarely found and it is an anatomically perfect arrangement of the teeth. Normal occlusion on the other hand is what we say is ideal occlusion. Normal occlusion is the acceptable and it is somewhere variation. This is a variation from ideal occlusion but it is acceptable close to ideal occlusion. Uh, next is competent lips. When the lips at rest meet each other like this when I am at rest you are at rest when somebody somebody is at rest and the lips meet together each other they are known as competent lips while on the other hand some people have kind of rabbit teeth at rest they have visible teeth which is known as incompetent lips when the lips don't meet each other together at the rest the next one we have is Frankfurt or Frankfurt plane it is a plane it is a line which is joined from the superior aspect of the external auditory matters which is located on the ear and the lower portion of the bony orbit. So we palpate the orbit and the lowermost portion of the orbit. We draw a line, a plane. This is on the face. And uh, if you see on cephalometrics, it is the line joining from Orion to the orbital. So PO is the line of Frankfurt plane which we will be discussing in ortho. A lot Frankfurt plane is all over. So coming to the lower facial height, so face is divided into actually three parts. If we look at the face, we'll draw a good one. When we look at the face, suppose this is the face. These are the eyebrows and eyes as you can make out. Please don't judge me <laughs> and we'll make lips from the red. So this is, this is the face. Then face is divided into three parts. The upper half is uh, the lower half is the lower facial height. The height it is actually the distance from the base of the nose to the chin. So this is the lower facial height, lower facial height, and from the eyebrows to the uh, base of the nose is the middle facial half. Middle facial half. Middle facial uh, you can say. And the upper part from the eyebrows to till the hairline is the upper facial height. So this is the, so all these three are equal. Actually if you look at on the face, this is one third, this is one third and this is one third. So the lower facial height is equal to the middle facial height. Now coming to the most important we are not talking about classes of malocclusion right now. We are talking about British standard classification of incisal relationship. So this is given in uh, 1983 and according to this. And if you look at the incisal view. So class 2 occlusion is when the upper teeth have come a lot out. M means that means the upper teeth are visible. When you look at someone's face and the upper they have got a rabbit like teeth. Like the upper teeth have come out. So the class 1 occlusion is like this. This is the class 1 incisal relationship. So the class 1 incisal relationship is when the lower incisal edges coincide with immediately below the cingulum of the upper incisors. So this is the class 1 incisal relationship. Class 2 we have two parts, two components. The one is class 2 division 1 and the other one is class 2 division 2. When, you, when we look at class 2 division uh, 1, it is, it is the basic that the upper teeth have come lot out and see now for class 2 the upper maxillary has come a lot out and the lower teeth are behind, far behind. So it will be behind the cingulum. So the class 2 division 1 is when the upper central incisor are upright or proclined and the overjet is increased. We will be talking about overjet. Overjet is actually the horizontal relationship. So this is the horizontal relationship and overbite is this. This is the overbite. The vertical overlap of both the incisors is the overbite. See bite. Bite is 
वर्टिकली एंड जेट हॉरिजोंटल जेट जेट प्लेज ऑन अरिजोंटल जेट फ्लाइज ऑन अरिजोंटल लेवल सो यू कैन मेमोराइज फ्रॉम दैट सो दिस इज क्लास टू डिविजन टू टू डिविजन आई एम सॉरी क्लास टू डिविजन वन कमिंग टू क्लास टू डिविजन टू इट इज क्लास टू डिविजन टू इट इज लाइक दिस सो इन दिस द अपर सेंट्रल इंसाइजर आर एक्चुअली रेट्रो क्लाइंट सी द क्लास टू डिविजन वन इज अपर सेंट्रल इंसाइजर आर प्रो क्लाइंट दे हैव कम आउट दे हैव ग्रोन आउट and in class 2 division 2 the upper central incisors are actually retroclined and the overjet is actually reduced but it may be increased in some cases so this is class 2 division 2 coming to class 3 class 3 is when the lower uh, teeth have come out from the actually what happens is this is the normal overjet this is the overjet uh, sorry this is the overbite in class 3 cases the mandibular teeth are proclined so, when you look at class 3, it will be like this. This is class 3. It is when the lower central incisors are anterior to the cingulum of the upper incisor. Or actually in this case, the overjet is reversed. This is the normal overjet. When the upper are uh, front, ahead of the lower incisors and in class 3, the uh, lower central incisors are actually ahead of the upper central incisors. So this is the incisor relationship according to the British standard classifications uh, uh, given in 1983. Then now coming to bimaxillary proclination. Bimaxillary proclination in which the upper and lower both are together proclined. So the molar relationship goes the same but both the incisors the upper and the lower teeth they are front they are proclined now coming to the overjet it is the distance as i've told you overjet and overbite let's draw the upper central incisor and this is a lower central incisor so this the horizontal overlap this is the horizontal overlap this is the vertical overlap. This is the vertical overlap. The vertical overlap is called bite. Jet is, I told you, as the jet flies, it is the vertical overlap. So over jet is the distance between the upper and lower incisors in a horizontal plane. While on the other hand, over bite is the overlap of the incisors in a vertical plane. Now, uh, the com a complete overbite. Complete overbite is when the a lower incisors contact the upper incisor see this is a complete bite this is a complete bite a complete bite is the lower incisors contact the upper incisor or the parietal mucosa so this is a complete bite uh, like the bite is when they are contacting the, either the end of the upper incisor or the palatal mucosa incomplete overbite is when the lower incisor do not contact at all the upper incisor or the palatal mucosa they don't contact so it will be in incomplete bite will be when they don't contact it will be like this there is incomplete overbite the bite is incomplete now the anterior open bite have you seen uh, uh, the frontal view of few people have, they have got an open bite when you when you see a patient from the front the there is a space present between the upper and the lower teeth so how the teeth look like if suppose these are the centrals and normal cases we have the lower central the lower centrals right this is how our, our teeth uh, looks like and in the case of anterior open bite it is like this so from the front when you see there is a space between upper and the lower central incisors it is anterior open bite the cross bite is when the bite is crossed actually if, if you see from buccal point of view uh, occlusion from a occlusion the maxillary teeth are buccally and the mandibular teeth are bit lingually so a cross bite is when it is opposite to it and a buccal a buccal cross bite is when the lower 
buccal cusp of the lower molars or you can say premolars they occlude buccal to the buccal cusp of the upper molars so in this case the lower uh, molars or premolars are actually buccal to the upper teeth and the lingual claws bite is opposite the buccal cusp of the lower molars are actually lingual to the lingual cusp so buccal cusp may uh, in buccal cusp everything is buccal like uh, it is the buccal cusp is or buccally and lingual cusp are actually buccal cusp are lingually to the lingual cusp so in the lingual cross bite see in the lingual cross bite the buccal cusp of the lower teeth are actually lingual they are actually towards lingually to the lingual cusp of the upper teeth now coming to the leeway space we'll be discussing leeway space and the in detail now we'll just go through the leeway spaces it is distance it is the difference between it is actually this measurements we measure measure dist the distal the difference between the diameters from cde cde are deciduous teeth deciduous canine deciduous first molar and the deciduous second molar the difference between cde and 3 4 and 5 those are permanent canine permanent first premolar and the permanent second premolar so this is this is the difference leeway space is the difference between it and it is actually greater in the, in the lower than in the upper so uh, the significance of leeway space will be discussing in the coming chapters now coming to balancing extraction balance balancing extraction is extraction of the same tooth on the opposite side for example if you have extracted for example if you have if you have extracted second premolar of first arch of the first quadrant so you will be extracting of the same quadrant the other side so you will be extracting the second premolar on the second quadrant so it will be it is a balancing extraction that means it is balance balancing so imagine like this both the sides nowhere the the tooth number are equal on both the sides so it is done on the one arch and both the sides compensating extraction is when the same tooth is extracted on the opposite side like for example the same tooth is extracted on the third quadrant on the fourth quadrant as well so this is called compensate compensating extraction when the extraction is done on the opposite side this completes the definition and terminologies in orthodontics and i have got request from few students to start making videos in english because uh, they are not able to understand in hindi and those who are already watching my videos please do comment in the comment section if you are getting the videos in english and uh, let me know and if you like the video please press the like button if you think the videos are informative please share it to your friends and if you want to see learn more videos like this subscribe to my channel and stay tuned